Hi, my name is Jamil Corey. I am the founding artistic director of Chicago's Silk Road Rising. Welcome to The Spark, step one in a 10-step new play development process and civic engagement tool designed to assist me in writing my new play, Mosque Alert. As I delve into the impetus and rationale for Mosque Alert, The Spark, I think it important to remember that Silk Road Rising was founded as an artistic response to the attacks of September 11, 2001. We like to think of ourselves as 9-11 second responders. We're also responding to a clash of civilization's discourse that we very strongly reject. You know, that ridiculous notion that the world is divided into monolithic civilizational blocks forever at war with each other? My God, who comes up with such stuff? What is Mosque Alert? Mosque Alert tells the story of two suburban American families living in Naperville, Illinois. One family is Christian, the Baker family, and the other family is Muslim, the Khan family. The Bakers and the Khans find their lives torn apart by a proposal to build a mosque in their community. It's both intra-family conflict and inter-family conflict. Something tells me it's all rather timely. What inspired Mosque Alert? We're now at the 10-year anniversary of the attacks of September 11, 2001. Osama bin Laden has been killed, and thankfully, there has not been a major terrorist attack on U.S. soil since that fateful day in 2001. However, the backlash against Muslim Americans continues, and it's a backlash most manifested today as resistance to the building of mosques. And I'm talking across the United States, in red states, in blue states, in liberal Manhattan, and yes, even here in Chicagoland. Consider the uproar that surrounded the proposed Islamic Community Center in Lower Manhattan, the so-called Ground Zero Mosque, as its opponents dubbed it. Here was a proposal for a state-of-the-art community center in a part of Manhattan that desperately needs a community center, and it was greeted with histrionics, with fear-mongering, and with hate speech, which tells me as a playwright that this is an issue that needs to be explored theatrically. It is a conflict worthy of drama. We've uncovered a new ground zero in America's culture wars. It's called Muslim houses of worship, masjids or mosques. 9-11 spawned a well-funded network of professional Muslim bashers who, for reasons of monetary gain and or publicity, have ignited a culture war that is deeply hurtful to Muslim Americans and to their friends and supporters. In resisting the building of mosques, these fools have found themselves an effective strategy, a strategy that perhaps not inadvertently raises questions about freedom of religion in this country, freedom of assembly, and freedom of expression. It also sheds light on the intersections of racism, prejudice, and public policy. At its core, these battles over who can build what and where pose questions as to what it means to be an American, questions that I, admittedly, am obsessed with. It is my contention that many of the arguments employed in the resistance to the building of mosques reveal an irrational fear of our Muslim neighbors. And yet, I am setting out to write a play that humanizes a whole spectrum of perspectives, including those I disagree with. My hope for Mosque Alert is that it endows each character and each perspective with integrity and credibility. The intent here is not to write a polemical play or a didactic play. Mosque Alert will not direct you as to how to think, nor will it feed you a politic. Instead, it should inspire you to arrive at your own conclusions. And for that, I really need your help, because it's not always going to be easy for me. <laughs> what is my relationship to the Muslim American community? Well, first off, I'm an American, and Muslims are an integral part of the United States, an important part of the American story. So, as an American, I feel enormously grateful for the many contributions that Muslims make to our country. 
even closer to home, my husband Malik is Muslim. And so I have married into a Muslim American family. Also, as an Arab American Christian, I feel a strong connection to the Arab American Muslim community and by extension to the larger Muslim community. It goes without saying that as a progressive, as a civil libertarian, as a feminist, I feel a responsibility to challenge and to fight anti-Muslim prejudice in this country. Islamophobia hurts all of us. To be anti-Muslim is to be anti-American. It's to be anti-Christian, anti-Jewish, anti-humanist. Thus concludes The Spark. Step one in a 10-step process that will culminate in Mosque Alert, both a new stage play and an online video play. I encourage you to post any comments and reactions you may have to The Spark, as well as any suggestions or advice. Trust me, I really want to hear from you. And be sure and stay tuned for step two of this journey, the prologue, to be released in the next couple of weeks. On that note, and on behalf of Silk Road Rising, I thank you for watching.